Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Q2 2022 results reveal record production month in face of supply chain and Shanghai shutdown. Tesla Giga Berlin permitted to install piles for construction of additional workshop. Lithium tax gets approved in California amid critics' opposition. And release notes of new software update 2022.20 reveal green traffic light chime coming to all Teslas. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla announced recently that it delivered 254,695 vehicles in 2022's second quarter, falling just below consensus estimates of 256,700 from the street and 263,000 from FactSet. Tesla produced 258,580 vehicles in Q1. In the second quarter, we produced over 258,000 vehicles and delivered over 254,000 vehicles, despite ongoing supply chain challenges and factory shutdowns beyond our control. June 2022 was the highest vehicle production month in Tesla's history, the automaker said in a press release. 16,162 units of the Model S and Model X flagship vehicles were delivered, while the Model 3 and Model Y accounted for 238,533 deliveries in Q2. Tesla battled severely disadvantageous market conditions to still recover and deliver a strong quarter. In April, Tesla's Chinese production plant, Gigafactory Shanghai, was shut down for three weeks due to a COVID-19 outbreak in the region. The facility returned to full strength in May, after reopening. The automaker also recovered, thanks to a spirited effort at Fremont and Berlin. The Northern California plant recorded its highest production figures in early June, setting a record for units built in a week. Additionally, Gigafactory Berlin in Germany managed to reach a 1,000-unit output for the first time in its short production history. In terms of Tesla's yearly production figures, it is still well on pace to deliver over 1 million units for the first time as a company after falling just short last year, with only 936,000 deliveries between just Fremont and Shanghai. With Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin ramping production quickly and Shanghai back to full strength, Tesla will look toward Q3 2022 to rebound its momentum and start a new streak of quarterly delivery growth. Q2 2022 marks the first time in 10 quarters that the automaker was not able to increase deliveries. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin permitted to install piles for construction of additional workshop. Tesla Giga Berlin received permission to install piles for the construction of an additional workshop. The court ruled that the manufacturer can use the desired type of piles, as this does not have a negative impact on groundwater. A few months ago, it became known that Giga Berlin was planning further expansion. The factory should get another line in the press shop to increase its production capacity. Board piles were chosen for construction, as they are most suitable, given that there are already completed buildings nearby. On March 2, 2022, Tesla received permission to install 1,163 board piles, which are used to prevent vibration in the already erected factory buildings. However, on March 24, 2022, Tesla notified the Water Authority of the Odor Spree District to replace 210 board piles with driven piles. The Lower Water Management Authority notified in writing that amendments to the water legislation permit are not required since the volume, location, and purpose of the intended use of the water body will not change. The amount of ground displacement also does not change when the pile type is changed. The Water Association, Strauss Bergerkner objected to this and applied to the Administrative Court of Frankfurt and Der Oder with an urgent motion to oblige the Oder Spree District to ban the use of non-circular piles, as this would worsen the rheological properties of groundwater. With a judgment on June 30, 2022, the Administrative Court of Frankfurt and Der Oder rejected the urgent application. 
In support of the decision, the court stated that according to the available hydrogeological studies, no impacts had been identified that could worsen the good quantitative and chemical state of the groundwater. In particular, pile foundations do not affect the quantitative status of groundwater. They do not cause a decrease in performance and do not cause a corresponding blocking action of groundwater. According to hydrogeological studies, the injection method does not affect the hydrogeological conditions in the aquifer. So with this permission, Tesla can now move forward and install piles for the construction of an additional workshop. Moving to the next update, lithium tax gets approved in California amid critics' opposition. A plan to tax lithium, which is widely used in the production of electric vehicle batteries, has been approved in California as part of the state's efforts to generate revenue for environmental remediation projects. The decision was pushed, despite reservations from players in the battery industry, some of whom argued that the lithium tax would harm the sector. Two of California's most notable lithium companies, such as Controlled Thermal Resources Limited and Energy Source Minerals LLC have suggested that the tax could scare off potential clients. The California lithium tax was approved by Governor Gavin Newsom as part of a must-pass state budget on Thursday. As noted in a Reuters report, the state legislature signed off on the tax during its deliberations on Wednesday night. As per the state's decision, the lithium tax will adopt a flat rate per ton model and it will go into effect in January. The lithium tax is expected to be reviewed every year, with state officials agreeing to consider a potential shift towards a percentage-based tax model instead. But while California officials seem optimistic about the state's lithium tax, industry players have stated that the tax would likely do more harm than good. According to Controlled Thermal Resources Limited, the lithium tax would force the company to miss its deadlines to deliver key battery components to electric vehicle makers like General Motors in 2024 and Stellantis the year after. Energy Source Minerals, on the other hand, has noted that its discussions with potential financiers and an automaker have been halted due to the lithium tax. Rod Colwell, Controlled Thermal's chief executive, also stated that California's lithium tax would be devastating for industry players because it would make locally produced lithium more expensive than those exported from countries like China. Supporting a tax that ensures lithium imports from China are less expensive for auto manufacturers to secure will devastate this promising Californian industry before it has begun, he said. Moving to the last update, release notes of new software update 2022.20 reveals green traffic light chime coming to all Teslas. The latest Tesla software update has hit Tesla vehicles, and as per the release notes, there are a few updates. First and foremost, green traffic light chime is coming to all Tesla vehicles. The feature plays a chime when the light in front of them turns green, or if you are behind someone, once the vehicle advances. Previously, the feature was only available for vehicles that were operating full self-driving. This might be the first time that Tesla has moved the FSD feature to the entire Tesla fleet. Secondly, Tesla adaptive suspension got some improvements. The improvements will now allow the vehicle to adjust the ride height for upcoming sections of the road that are rough. The adjustment will be automatic and will continue to be updated as data is logged by Tesla vehicles. You need to enable this feature by tapping controls, suspension, adaptive suspension damping, and select comfort or auto setting. Third, tire configuration got a miscellaneous improvement. The new setting allows users to reset the learned tire settings after a tire rotation, replacement or swap. Users will need to reset the setting manually by tapping controls, service, wheel and tire configuration, tires. Finally, seat belt system enhancement got a safety improvement. The improvements allow the system to use Tesla Vision to offer protection in a frontal crash. With the update, your seat belts will tighten and protect properly restrained occupants earlier. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.